Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2023 in another part of our career mode. Today we are back with our journey and, uh, of course, on the brand new patch as well. Uh, looking forward to seeing what changes they've made and uh, what impact that has, of course, on the game. Sorry that hasn't been an episode for a couple of days. Um, I was at the Crucible in Sheffield yesterday, having a, a great day. So didn't have uh, time to uh, record any content for yesterday and the day before. I, I'd had parents evening the night before. Um, I am a full-time teacher, if you're not aware. So, yeah, it's been a very, very busy uh, end to the week. But uh, we will be back with PGA Tour and Snooker content for the next couple of weeks. Uh, daily content, of course. So... Uh, yeah, first things first, we can upgrade our golfer a little bit here. Um, we can add some more power to him, so there you go. That'll do nicely, a power approach there. That should hopefully help us out with our driving. Uh, looking forward to that. Let's have a little look at uh, some rewards that we've got. We've got uh, rewards trackers, and uh, there's another 700 rewards points. And uh, yeah, let's get ourselves into the career mode uh, somebody said there was a new coaching challenge for the three click swing there you go three click intro uh very very easy um to get plenty of rewards points and, and plenty of xp so let's uh, get into the round we are an 80 rated golfer now let's get ourselves into the action here at the southern hills country club we'll give the three click swing a go Okay, so how does one use three-click swing? I think it's X, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. That's a little left. But pretty good nonetheless. There you go, that carried 272. I mean, I want to know if a three would power approach. That's just uh, quicker, but yeah, that's okay. Never mind. Right. Here we go. Close. Absolutely beautiful. And that carries 290 this time. Very nice. Good power. Oh, that does hook right. Damn it. I don't know how many we get here. We can give it another. Crack in a second. Yeah, quite like the three-click swing. It's not quite as good as just swinging it naturally, I think, but it is very reminiscent of the old golf games. Carrying a very decent distance, aren't we? I think um, this is going to massively help. I think that, that skill upgrade could really, really improve our game. Oh, slightly right. Again, carried 285, driven 300. Yeah, straight as a die. Lovely. It's 315. I assume that's the first one, is it? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, that's huge. 311. Wow. What's that one going to be? That's the top one. And what's great is it's just stopping dead as well. Carrying 310 there. Absolutely bonkers. Oh, that's right. It's okay though, it's in the fairway. Cool, that was uh, two stars in the bag. Nice. Okay, approach shots. I don't know how many. That's ten attempts. So ten attempts is, is what we've got. We'll give it another go. Why not? Oh, this looks good. That's okay. left way too much Oh dear. That's... Well, it looked left. But wow. It's very good. Yeah, that's left. This looks good. Oh my god, this looks very good. Oh.
too much. But all of them on the green will settle for that. And two more stars in the bag. Very good. Okay, and that's uh, really put me in a good mood ahead of where we're up to next. We've collected our first rewards for that. Uh, let's get ourselves into the Florida Classic then here at the Wetlands. Uh, we are currently on the fourth hall, even par in our first round, tied for 11th place. Let's get into the action. Here we go. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, from the wetlands, it's live opening round coverage of the Florida Classic. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. Sam Burns is on top. He's off to a four under start. Meanwhile, our featured golfer looking to get off to a hot start and maybe make an early move up the AM leaderboard. We get into the action here starting at the par three fourth. Okay, here we go then. It's quite a, a tough opening hole here. I just have to try and finesse it in there. It's going to be tough though. That's gone fairly left. Yeah. Not great. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Chip shots, you've got to be so precise. You see all the contours of the green. Yeah, just needed a few more feet out of that one. Get in uh, there. The Beautiful. Him out there. That's in for a par. And he'll stay at level par. Good look now at the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par five, and it's a good one. 635 yards. Coming now to another long par five, the 635 yard fifth. Short hitters do not have to worry about the swamp on the left, but it may come into play for long hitters trying to get home in two. Okay. All right, let's uh, try and draw this in a little bit here. This is going to tug very just a left. bit. The wind going to push it a little. And that will do just fine. It's not too bad. Now, from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. Yep, that's okay. All right, I know it's not the highlight shot getting home on the par five and two, but maybe it's a smart shot. It's very left again. That one was running so hot. Now that's going to hurt. That simple chip shot and well off the mark. That hurts. Oh, not quite. 
going to be Borgie here. From about eight feet. Nope. Oh, well, it just about held. He's going to fall back now to one over par. Here now at the 440 yard, par 4 six. Water down the left side to avoid, and a couple choices here. Lay up short of the water crossing the fairway, or risk trying to carry it. See what you've got. Yes, nice tempo. That will be just fine. Good start of the round. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. Looking at 149 to the hole, coming off a bogey on the previous hole. Got to get it back here. Nope, nowhere near. That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. Yeah. In for par. Safely in for par here at the sixth, and he'll stay at one over. Here at the par five seventh at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club, 592 yards. Okay, here we go. Lots of wind here. Good start. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Going to take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. Let's give it a chance. Come on. Come on. That's it. On to the green in two. And Good an eagle putt. On and two, par five. Didn't fly it there, but didn't have to. Got everything he needed out of that shot. So now this, from 24 feet away, it's for eagle. That's pretty close. It's in the oh, cup. Yeah. Eagle pots. And it looks like the AI superb. got us an extra shot as well for good measure. But that was a cracking end to the round. Eagle put and uh, back One on form. Tied for 30th. Featured golfer down, but not out after day one yeah they might have to take the standing eight though or hit the reset button um, this can easily go the wrong way very quickly tomorrow important round so that's a wrap for all of us let's go then back into So, ooh, uh, three under for the round. Very good. Tied for 15th at the minute. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, from the wetlands, we bring you live second-round coverage of the Florida Classic. But if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. On top, it's Patrick Cantlay. He's at nine under. 
and our featured golfer, Four Shots Back, as we get things going. Okay, here we go then. Let's so get the into it. We go as we'll pick things up on the tee at the par 5 12. Let's uh, try and use the conditions to good effect here. This started toward the left side. That's okay. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. It needs to kick left. It's not bad. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. And that's pretty good. Gets us an eagle chance here. A four footer here for Birdie. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. And with it, he's going to move to within three of the lead. So we go at par 4, 13, 452 yards. What's the best angle of attack? And the straight line really is the, is the best way here, like a lot of holes on the golf course. But straight, as we know, is not often easy. Fairway does start to widen up the further out there you get it so for the longer hitters this hole actually plays relatively easy for the shorter hitters in that narrow area that'll leave you a lengthy second shot where you just might have to bisect the two front greenside bunkers yeah lovely tee shot there yeah, nothing a fault there good balance good follow through and a good start to this hole Looks decent. Ooh, just spun back a little bit. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. That might be short. Oh, my word. Pretty good effort right there. Just a tap in. Okay, Very good. Safely in for par here at 13, and he'll remain three shots off the pace. Good par three here at the 14th. It's a little bit more than 200 yards, Frank. And there's a bunker short, um, so you've got to fly that coming in there. And uh, if you do miss time one, that's when that body of water to the right really comes into play. Typical Floridian golf, but um, high flying, soft landing tee shot once again is the goal. Okay, here we go then. Now, just gonna drag this back a club. Vanessa here. Well, this is close. Oh, we'll settle for that. Okay, that one's dancing. Next week, the Florida Swing continues. Frankie, it's a home game for you. That's always nice as we head to Orlando and Bay Hill for the Arnold Palmer Invitational presented by MasterCard. Always a good week. Now, so Beautiful. Get some home cooked meals, that's for sure, and get to watch people play. I, don't know, I just love the finish at Bay Hill. 16, 17, and 18. So many tournaments where things have gone awry at that very stretch. Final par five on the backside here at the Wetlands. It's 590 yards. Which is really a tempting yardage. A good tee shot, perhaps. Think of reaching the par five and two. But uh, this green, well protected by three bunkers. Two on the <laughs> left side and one short right. But uh, uh, fortune favors the brave. At least that's what I was told. 
Okay, last hole for us here. This looks good. Looking for a strong session kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend, and that another good drive here. You dare end up in that bunker. You dare. Oh, what a shame. That second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. Really need a birdie right now. Sit down. That's okay. Okay, a good out. And that's what will remain for birdie. Chance now for another birdie. Yeah, it's another cracking putt. On point late here in the round. Birdie's at 14 and 15. And that's going to move him to 8 under. See, they've got us to 8 under overall. Ninth so place for the tournament. Frank, it is on to the weekend. Who knows if you get out early on Saturday, try and post a number. See what happens. Exactly. There's such a fine line, Rich, between playing well and sort of not struggling, but just mediocre. Putt goes in here or there. Uh, that could easily change tomorrow. Make a couple of birdies early, pop a long one in, and all of a sudden you're off and running. So that you just... Okay, so third round. We're currently... What's that? Tied for eighth. Nine under on the fourth hole. Currently really doing great at the moment. Fifteen under. EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. This afternoon from the wetlands, we bring you live third round coverage of the Florida Classic. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. Patrick Cantlay is your leader. He's at 15 under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer hoping to make a move here, six shots off the pace. We get into the action here starting at the par three fourth. So a fine Saturday here, Frank. And we start to think about what this weekend might hold in store for our featured golfer in the hunt here on the first page of the leaderboard, looking for that golden goose, a first PGA Tour win and all that goes with it. In terms nope. of nerves, I would have to think this is the most pressure filled situation this young golfer has ever faced. Without doubt, Rich. Uh I think if you follow the maturation process though, when you first turn pro, a new golf course every week. That takes a little bit of time to get used to. Now you start to see your name on the leaderboard. So if you follow the trend, this is where they should be. Yeah, that was gonna to be tough to fly that all the way to the hole out of the bunker. And this is gonna come up a good bit short. Yeah, great putt. Oh, that'll bring a wry smile. A very good putt there to save his par. And he'll stay at minus nine. Down to the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par five, 635 yards. It's a, a long par five, here, this one, isn't it? The shorter hitters don't really worry about the, uh, the swamp land on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, are you straight enough? to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway. We need a little bit of help here. Goodness me, I mean, this is... This is a massive amount of wind. Look at the trees! That's going to be decent. No issues here. That is into the fairway. That's pretty good. Now from way back, better than 300 yards, a second to the par five. Oh, 
It's through the tree it goes. It's going to be in the sand. Damn. Oh, par fives too. The other ones you really want to make birdie on. But the second shot, that's uh, gone into that bunker. It's an awkward third. Looks okay. It's not bad, you know. Well, that one didn't work out. Didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. Oh. I think well, that's so pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Nice. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll stay right where he is. Part four sixth here at the wetlands, 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up and flash it across the wetlands for just a mere short iron into this lengthy par four. Deary me. I mean, this is... Horrible. The wind's starting to push this one a little left. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Run out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. Under 46 yards left to the hole. Lie looks hot. Needs to be careful of the ball jumping. Decent, decent approach shot. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. This one on the slow side as he'll try to get this one close. That's close. It's in the hole, that's why. Oh, yes. Plenty of Beautiful. That slow Ten point. under. He's in for a birdie. And he gets it to two under for his round. 11 under now for the tournament. Next up, the 592-yard par 5 seven bends gently from right to left, and really long hitters can get home in two with a couple of well-struck shots. The wetlands not really in play here. We've got a lot of wind behind us here, haven't we? Goodness me. We lost this one to the left. Damn it. It's really disappointing. What to see here, it looked like that ball hopped from the lighter rough into the heavier stuff. The beauty of this par five, so many different ways to play it. It'll be a little wayward, even with the tee shot or the second shot, but really, it's going to be about the third shot today. How close can you hit it? Way too far. Well, as an old baseball announcer once said, going, going, gone, goodbye. This is a tough hole today, and just inside 10 feet after that short shot, so still working very hard to make par. Oh, that was close, but 10 under. We will settle for it. On to the eighth, it's a par three, 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three, really. It, it, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker short of the screen gives you like an optical illusion. You think it's lapping up with the front of the screen. It's actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind the screen, and it narrows out the deeper the green gets. So uh, a tricky little par three.
It's going right. Now from the bunker. You know, just a little splash out on this path, right? Yeah, tough to gauge quite how far the ball's going to travel coming out of the sand, and that checks up a little bit short. Okay, good, good putting there. once again. Keeps us on par. And he'll remain right where he is. Almost still five behind the lead. Finishing out the front side with yet another lengthy par five. The ninth measuring 621 yards, but still reachable for the bombers out there with three bunkers protecting against your approach shot. Here we go then. Last hole, I think. And we get another eagle. We need to aim well left, well to the right here. That looks good. Well done. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Now, from just under 300 yards, a second from the fairway at the par five. That's all right. It's That's pretty, pretty good, good actually. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. to close out the front side here with a birdie and there it is that's yes, a cracker a good look and wow look at our AI he's got it all the way under to, to 14 under there and just three shots off the league we we can we can win this only three shots off the pace through 54 holes yeah it's still a great opportunity I think to have a win Rich uh, you know I know it's going to take a really good perhaps great round to do it but you're in contention. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Nabilo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA. Okay. Right then, let's get into it. Final round, who are we going to be playing with? Xander Shoffle, uh, which is awesome. We are currently seventh position. We are on... 14 under at the 14th hole. The leader is Patrick Cantley. 20 under. Uh, we have got five rounds in which to change it. Let's get into the action. Here we go. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. This afternoon, we're in the Sunshine State for live final round coverage of the Florida Classic. But well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, we will have a champion as we check the Sunday leaderboard. On top, it's Patrick Cantlay. He's at an even 20 under. Let's get right into the action, starting with the par three, 14. Three uh, bogeys today. Round underway here, and Frank, you look at a golfer like the one we're going to be following today. Rookie on the PGA Tour has not won yet, but squarely in the hunt here on a Sunday. What do they need to call on here to maybe take a run at winning this thing? First and foremost, just play. You know, tee it up on that first hole, knock it down, they hit it on the green. Never know, might make birdie, might make another one. Might make three, four in a row, you never know. And the leaders might falter. So at the end, you have to worry about what you can do. You make a little run, all of a sudden, there's a chance. You see your name on the leaderboard. That puts pressure on everybody else. You don't have to worry about that. You do your job. Now, Xander Schauflet, 17 under, he's on. 
Oh, this looks right, though. I like the looks of this one. But it might be pretty close. Oh, wow. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. I own this, a birdie putt. Yeah, it's a long putt, so pace is important, but there's not a whole lot to it. I fancy the chances of getting this close. This is close. Oh. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. After the great tee shot, this for birdie. And Zander gets it. Ah, Very good. This 14 pole. That's him 18 under now. And he's got it to a 14 under par. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll remain at 14 under. Well, Cantley loses a shot. We got four. Here on the 15th tee at the wetlands. Holes to go. A 590 yard par five. The last par five on this golf course is the 15th. It's 590 yards. You think, Frank, this is the time to be aggressive? Certainly is. Longer hitters must be licking their chops on this par five. 300-plus uh, yard tee shot, you can definitely get home. Shorter hitters, just set it up for a nice uh, wedge shot. But if you are going to go at this par five and two, well protected by those three bunkers. I don't know what that was. don't really understand that. Very good. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. No, this doesn't look great, but it'll do. Good shot right there with that three was sitting up nicely. Yeah, most importantly, the second shot's on the fairway. And this par five playing long today. See how close this third shot can be hit. Oh, what a shame. Oh, it's this not terrible, though. Green is well protected. That's two good shots, but that bunker's there for a reason. Now, with some nifty sand play, we're looking at four. Very good from Zander. Rich is it? Eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach shot. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. And that's pretty good as well. Yeah, big explosion. Got it to stop quickly, and that will be a birdie opportunity coming up. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. 19 under for Shuffle. It will certainly help the cause. And that one 15 under off. for it's us. A birdie here at 15. And he moves to very close under. once again. As Cantlay moves back to 20 under. We begin the finishing stretch here at the Wetlands with a 455 yard par 4 16. Looking for another straight tee shot here. The approach leads to a green well protected by four bunkers. Here it comes, Zander then. It's going to get us underway on the 16th hole. so simple when you're going good doesn't it and that is yet another solid drive yeah, we kind of want to hit this mound over here and kick it on a little bit
No problems. Pretty there. good. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 151 yards left. The pin is stuck in the front right section of the oh, green. Oh, wow, this looks amazing again. What approach play. Uh, it's been a beautiful round of golf uh, today. It's been a clinic with the irons and well, more evidence there. The swing, the strike, and look how close that is. Very good from uh, us good as shot. well. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. 15 feet away. No. Nope. Should be background for par though. And there it is. Okay. Didn't want to let that one get away. It Two to go. Here at 16. This yeah, for Birdie eight, to eight, take him to eight. 20 on deck. And there it is. Terrific from oh, Zandep. Finishing strong. Back to back birdies now at 15 and 16. And he will definitely not say no. Can't lay 21. That. 17th at the wetlands. Par 3. 238 yards. Frank, how would you describe this hole? Well, it's a hole really that shapes up well for a nice little high draw. See the angle of the green pointing slightly to the right. Um, a nice little draw into this par 3. And that'll find the nice avenue. Maybe a kick forward, 15, 20 feet left for birdie. And if you birdied 16, chance to birdie 17 as well. Needs to sit down. Nope. Mm, didn't play the wind very well there, and that's going to wind up too strong and over the green. So now this, right around 25 feet for birdie. Needs us to stay in the tournament, really. It's left. What a shame. How did that stay out, Frank? Did everything but go in. Yes, good oh, one. Good putt. It is in for par here at 17. And he'll stay right where he is. Very good from good Zander. 20 That's under, going into 17. the final hole. And he'll remain right where he is. As Cantley goes to 22 under now. Finishing our day at the wetlands in Florida with the shortest par for the course, the 377 yard 18th. Water down the left shouldn't be a factor. Driver and a short iron, and a birdie is very much in the cards. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. This up the right side off the tee. And just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm. Hit fairways. Hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Yeah, very good. Oh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty.
Oh, that's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance and well, far from the best shot I've seen today. Close. Oh. Now this for another birdie. Yeah, good yeah, shot from Zander. 21 under, he will finish on. Clubhouse leader. To the round here today. And that ain't a bad round from us either. 15 under for the tournament. And that will finish off our round of golf. And we finished fifth. Frank, that was a great day of golf. My only question now is... How are we getting back? How are we getting home from here? Oh, Rich, there's only one way. That's the air boat. We're in Florida. Rev it up. What a super day of golf we saw here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club along the St. John's River. For Frank Nabilo, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long from all of us at EA Sports. Okay, right. Let's head back then. And uh, that, of course, is where we're going to leave it for today. It's still searching for that PGA to a victory. We're not far away now. Uh, we have got the Arnold Palmer International coming up. We are now ranked at number 32 in the world. And we are getting to some big tournaments coming up. We've got the Arnold Palmer International. Then um, the Players Championship where we will be playing all four rounds there. We've then got a few tournaments uh, just before we get to the Masters. The first major of the year and uh, we are going to be in with a chance of winning that should the conditions suit our play we'll just have to find out in the next episode so if you have enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more pga tour videos and i hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye